There are a lot of misleading claims being made about Georgia's controversial elections law. And some of them are coming from the top. Both President Joe Biden, a Democrat who opposes the law, and Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, the Republican who signed it last week, misleadingly described the text of the law in interviews this week. Here is a breakdown of a Biden assertion and three Kemp assertions. While criticizing the Georgia law in a Wednesday interview on ESPN, Biden said, you're going to close a polling place at 5 o'clock when working people just get off? This is all about keeping working folks and ordinary folks that I grew up with from being able to vote. Facts first. This is misleading for two reasons. First, the new law does not change Georgia's election day voting hours, which still end at 7 p.m. Second, while the law does set a default end time of 5 p. for early voting on weekdays and on Saturdays, counties were already allowed to end early voting at 5 p. under the previous law. The new law gives counties the option to offer early voting as late as 7 p. if they want to. The previous law said weekday early voting had to occur at least during normal business hours, with a county option to add additional hours. That previous law did not explain what hours qualified as normal. The new law does specify, saying that weekday early voting has to occur during the hours of 9 a to 5 p. That's not a reduction in hours, just an elimination of vagueness. And the new law goes on to say that counties can choose to extend early voting to as early as 7 a and as late as 7 p.m. The new law also says that early voting has to be open at least between 9 a and 5 p. on two Saturdays during primary elections and general elections. Additional weekend days are optional. That's an increase in mandatory weekend hours compared to previous law, which required only one Saturday of early voting from 9 a to 4 p. and the new law says counties can go from 7 a to 7 p. on weekends if they want to. Atlanta's Fulton County and some other major Democratic-dominated counties did not have early voting hours later than 7 p. in 2020, so the law would not force them into reductions in hours in primaries and general elections. For runoff elections, the law eliminates two weeks of mandatory early voting statewide and eliminates five weeks of the campaign in total. At the White House press briefing on Thursday, Press Secretary Jen Psaki defended Biden's claim about Georgia polls being closed at 5 p. versions of which he had made before, by saying that the new law standardizes the ending of voting every day at 5. But Psaki then conceded that the law gives options to expand beyond 5 p.m. There is one caveat here. Even experts on election law told us the wording of the new law is confusing about weekday early voting hours in particular. You can read the wording for yourself on pages 59 and 60.